So I am in Google Classroom. I am on the assignment and I'm going to scroll down and view assignment. And if you scroll down a little bit more, you can see that I do have the world here attached in Google Classroom. It is also attached in Moodle. It doesn't really matter. But when you click on it, it gives you like this list of files that's bad because we actually want it zipped. So what we're gonna wanna do is come over here to where it says more actions, three dots, more actions. You have to open it in a new window. So I'm gonna open in a new window and this, I know, seems like the same thing, but you'll see that there is a download option. Don't click on the individual files in the list because we definitely need it zipped. So we're gonna go ahead and download. I'm just gonna wait for this to down, there we go. It's downloaded down here. All right, cool. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna launch, I just leave it there. I don't have to open it, I don't need to do anything. It's saved to my computer. So I'm now gonna launch Minecraft Education Edition. Get this out of full screen. Okay, that looks pretty good. All right, and so once I, and I'm already logged in, so make sure that you're logged in. I'm gonna go to play. And here on the main screen, I'm gonna choose import. And hopefully it is right there. Like it's in your download folder, you just, find the file and import it. Okay, it looks like nothing really happened, although it says that it finished successfully. So go ahead and click on View My Worlds, and you can see that it is right here, this Math 360. I'm gonna click on it and choose Play. So let's give this a go. Now, the goal of this is really, you've accomplished it mostly at this point. Uh, you have half of the accomplishment is that you want to download a world and enter it. So that's half the half the objective. The other part is just figuring out a few things. So mostly the objective of this assignment is just figuring out how to use Minecraft. I'm gonna push escape because I wanna resize this window a little bit, okay? So when you push escape, it pauses the game sort of. You could still die uh, if you are in near hostile mobs. So make sure you're in a safe place, but it kind of it allows me to move my mouse around instead of move my point of view around. You'll notice that when I push escape, I have an option for a help playlist. So I have um, a YouTube playlist that has some helpful videos and some how to, to play tutorials if you would like. So I'm gonna go ahead and resume the game. W to move forward, I have some directions here you're gonna breed sheep and collect data. So please make sure that you have some piece of paper or something near you to record what's going on. Now I have a chest. Now I'm just using my mouse to put my point of view here on the chest and I'm going to right click to open the chest. So I right click to open the chest. Now I have all of these things in my inventory because I was building the game. You don't need to, yours should be empty. Yours should be empty, mine is, well, maybe yours wouldn't be empty. I might have messed that up, but it's fine. So I took the things out of the chest, and so that's just a single click. You notice I click once, I'm not dragging, and then I just click again, and I place it down here in the hotbar. So in the hotbar, I want my portfolio, I want my camera, and I want my wheat. Easy enough, and close out of the chest. I'm gonna look at the door, move forward, I have a little sign here. For the most part, you're gonna right click um, to open, right click is build, left click is break. So I'm gonna right click and W walk through, come on down the stairs and it says to feed sheep, put wheat in your hand. So that is the third item in my hot bar. So I'm gonna push three, now I have a piece of wheat in my hand. So I'm gonna turn over here. I'm gonna right click on the gate to open it. All right, so I'm going this way, put wheat in your hand, and you're gonna right click on the sheep. So I'm gonna right click on the gate, I'm gonna come inside. Now the wheat makes the sheep follow me, they're very excited. Look at all these sheep just wandering around out there, they're very excited. 
Don't worry about the sheep outside of the pen. So if you right click on the sheep, you feed them. And if you feed them, you breed them. So you'll see, and baby sheep. Awesome. So just take some time. This is not a data gathering activity yet. Right here, you are just practicing feeding sheep. Right click, right click. They are very excited about the food that you just fed them and they have a little baby sheep. So just take some time, figure out how to move around, forwards, backwards. You can push H to show the commands to move around. And the other thing I want you to do is get the camera in your hand. So in my case, I have camera in position two. So I push two and now I have a camera in my hand. With the camera in my hand, I just right click. That's two fingers. With the camera in my hand, I right click. See if I can get a picture of this baby. It was in my way, got photo bombed. So, you know, have a good time. Take some pictures of the sheep. Party on, Wayne. Okay, super fun. And I am going to come over here when I'm done. It says, did you take pictures? Doesn't like me to be on the sign. There we go. Did I take pictures, feed the sheep? Did you wonder about some things? You should be curious. Math, good math should make you curious. Um, boring math is following directions. It, math should be about thinking, about curiosity. It should be creative. Those are things math should be. If people don't like math, we're teaching it wrong. So we're gonna go out this way. And I just right clicked on the gate. I'm gonna come out here. Turn around, right click on the gate. And you can see I'm saying go this way, collect data. You're gonna count the sheep and record the color. And after data collection, you're gonna feed the sheep and you're gonna say what happened and you're gonna take lots of pictures with the camera in your hand. And if you need more wheat, right click on the chest and I have more wheat for you, okay? And I'm gonna come out, right click go through the gate, right click, right click, right click. Okay, so there is some sheep here in this pen. Just wander around, count up the sheep, record some data. What do you notice? What can you write down? What data can you collect? It's very important they don't tell you what data to collect. That's not how mathematicians and scientists work. You gotta know for yourself. You have to learn how to ask the questions. So what questions do you have? Um, what are you curious about? All right, so once you have recorded some data in this scene, go ahead and get some wheat in your hand. You see all the sheep are gonna be very excited. And pay attention to what you're doing. Do this slowly. I'm gonna feed two sheep and they're gonna produce a baby. So continue this and record data of what happens. What happens, do your experiment and of course, Keep taking some pictures. Take lots of pictures just for funsies. Okay. So after you have recorded your data, whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. You can place a camera on the ground so you can take a selfie. So that's kind of fun. So I'll do that again if you're interested in taking a selfie. I take the camera, I point at the ground, I place the camera, and then I right click on the camera and it will take my selfie. Cool for funsies. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm gonna keep walking through here. Close my gate, open. And you can see that I have a chalkboard and the chalkboard is giving you some directions. In this particular activity, we're gonna break up grass, okay? And you're gonna need to record data, so keep careful records. When you are doing data recording, is there any differences between the items? Uh, maybe you have different colors or different sizes or, or things like that. So when you record data, make sure you are creating a table that distinguishes the uniqueness of each of the items. I'm gonna right click to open the doors. I'm gonna be able to walk out and come on over here. Now I have this tall piece of grass and I'm gonna right click now I'm gonna left click. Left click will break. Left click will break and I broke the grass. Now what happened? Record it. Record that you broke a grass 
and what happened. Now when you walk forward, I've got eh, basically the same directions again. But what I want you to do, oops, take some pictures and get the camera out of my hand. If you right click on the NPC, it gives you some more information. But this is where you're gonna end up. So don't, don't do this NPC. This is your exit ticket. Exit ticket. Put the camera in my hand. Oops, I clicked on him. Take a picture. That's my exit ticket. What I'm gonna do is I am gonna wander around and I'm gonna left click, I'm gonna regular click and just break up some grass. Don't worry about that sheep. What you're looking for, breaking up the grass. Now I'm doing this kind of fast, don't do it fast. Do not do this fast. Nice and slow. As you walk around and you're breaking up grass, record what happens. Keep data. How many did you, oh, there we go. And then here I have some seeds. And you can see it down there in my hot bar. I now have one seed. What kind of grass did I break? And under what circumstances did I get seeds? So you are just gonna spend some time wandering around. Just, just wander around. Don't worry about the sheep. Just breaking up grass. There's no grass over here in the sand, just so you know. Um, the reason I'm walking over here is because it should stop me at some point. Or not. I, it's not working. Okay, whatever. All right. So, don't worry about it. Just wander around. I have it set to peaceful mode. It's going to stay daytime the whole time. So, you're just going to break grass, record data. Do a little wandering around. All this nice grass over here. Uh, just keep wandering around. And when you are done breaking grass, now, how, how much grass do you have to break? That's literally a decision that you are going to have to make. You're going to have to make a decision about how much grass to break. So that's really part of it. You know, talking about being a mathematician and a scientist, should not be about following directions. It's about designing the experiment, uh, predicting the mathematical model, determining how much sampling that you need to do, how much grass do I need to select. So that is something that we will talk about later in this class is sample size. So for this activity, I'm gonna let you choose the sample size. So please be prepared to come back with how much grass did you choose to break and why did you think that was the right amount to break. And when you're done, you're gonna come back to our friend here and right click and click on this button to learn probability. It's gonna give you a little website. But the last thing that you're going to do is I'm gonna put the portfolio in my hand. This is in my slot one in my hot bar. I'm gonna put the portfolio in my hand and I'm gonna right click and notice that when I right click, I've got all of my pictures automatically organized in my portfolio and you can label them if you want to. So there's nothing you have to do with the portfolio. The only objective with the portfolio is that you have one and it demonstrates that you did a lot of stuff in the activity and just that you know how to. I'll have more requirements for future portfolios, but this particular one is really simple. And you're gonna go ahead and click Export Portfolio and Save, and that is a PDF. Okay, so then you're gonna come back to Google Classroom. Not that one. Uh, here it is. Back in Google Classroom. And please, if you would not mind, Please do this in Google Classroom to turn it in because it does make a folder in Google Drive for me, which I can access more easily um, since I am fully remote. I, I really like the organization of accessing from Google Drive. So thank you for understanding that if you just click Add or Create, 
just add a create and you can do a file add a create a file and I'm just gonna upload this PDF I downloaded so I have downloads here it is just gonna add the PDF to there we go it says PDF this is my Minecraft portfolio that's my evidence of doing the activity and go ahead and click turn in turn in now there's probably also a turn in button in Moodle um, it would be helpful if you pushed it I'm not gonna penalize you if you do one and not the other um, but for turning in files I will use Google Classroom because it does organize it a lot easier for me in Google Drive automatically um, but that's it that's all you need to do for this activity and keep your notes please keep your notes we're gonna talk about the activity what did you learn what questions did you ask what data did you collect did you figure out the probability what probabilities did you figure out what did you want to know and you couldn't figure out so be prepared to answer those questions when we meet in class on Thursday <laughs>